Hello and welcome to uh, to Scratch here. We are going to walk you through the basic steps to make the chase game. Uh, in this video, we are going to make a character that can move all around the screen, and we're going to make a uh, uh, an object for this character to chase. So, if you go into Scratch, make sure you log in first. As you can see, I am logged in here. Make sure your name is up in this corner. If you don't log in, it will not save, and if it does not save, then all the progress that you make will be for nothing. So, make sure you log in. Second, once you get done with that, hit Create. And the first thing you want to do is name your project. I shouldn't have any projects that have the name Untitled on it. So, name your project. I'm going to name mine Chase Example. And now I am ready to go. First thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the cat. So just come down here and click the trash can above the cat and you're good to go. Now I want to choose a backdrop. So I'm going to choose a backdrop and let's see, let's go with Night City. Road, no road. Let's go with the road. So I'm going to go with Night City and that's going to be my background. That's going to be the background of my main game. So, um, First thing we need to do is we need to have a main character. So I need to come down here to Sprite, choose a Sprite and click it. And I'm going to choose my main character. I'm going to choose, where'd he go? Nano, I kind of like him. He's cool with the city because uh, his, his colors kind of match uh, the darkness of the city behind and I think it just kind of works good. So, um, I have my main character, he is a little bit big. So one thing I could do is I can make him smaller either by coming in here and setting the size to something. Um, but that doesn't really officially do it. The official way to do it is when the green flag is clicked to uh, set his size percentage. Uh, so when the green flag is clicked, set size to 60%. And that's kind of what I'm looking at, all right? So that's 60% his original size. You could also make this bigger if you want. You can make it 200% and he's much bigger. But I like it at 60. So I have my guy here at 60. Now I need to get him to move around. So I'm going to go to events when the green flag is clicked. Control, I'm going to bring over forever and an if then. So forever, if then. So when the green flag is clicked for forever, if something happens, then something else will happen. So uh, that thing that happens is I'm going to press a key to move him. So uh, I need to go to sensing. And then down here it says when space key is pressed, I'm just going to throw that in there and make this the up arrow. I am going to make the up arrow mean that he moves up the screen. Kind of obvious, but it still has to be said. Um, up and down is on the y-axis. Left and right is on the x-axis. So if you want to send something up, you need to go positive direction on the y-axis. If you want to send something down, negative direction on the y-axis. Something to the right, positive on the x, and something to the left, negative on the x. So keep that in mind as we come over here to motion. And then I'm going to grab change Y by 10. Okay, up arrow, you're changing Y, making sure 10 is a positive number. If I hit the green flag, now I can move them. But I can't do anything else. I can't bring them down, go left, right, or, or anything else. So I need to make three more of these that say down arrow, left arrow, and right arrow. So just give me a moment, and I am going to build them. All right, so I have my up arrow. Let's make this one down. Make this one right and this one left. And then let me just kind of organize here so they're not overlapping. Okay, so I'm gonna go into motion. I'm gonna grab another change Y, put it under the down, but down needs to be negative. So I need to make this a negative 10. 
And then right and left are both change x's. Right is positive, so that's fine. Left is negative, so this needs to be a negative 10. Now when I hit the green flag, my guy can go anywhere he wants. Okay, so that is getting a main character to move. Now we need an object for him to chase. So an object would be another sprite. So come down here to sprites, choose a sprite, and choose an object for him to chase. I want him to chase an egg. I'm choosing egg because um, the background and the egg are, uh, uh, you, you can see the egg very easily against the background because the egg is light and the background is dark. So that's kind of why I chose that. Um, once again, I'm going to change the size because that egg is a little bit big. So when the green flag is clicked and set size to, once again, 60%. There we go. That's cool. Uh, and then I want this egg to move around at uh, randomly across the screen. So I'm going to go to Control. I'm going to grab it forever. Put that right underneath here. And then go to Motion and glide one second to a random position. So now when I hit the green flag, that thing is moving pretty much wherever it wants. And I can chase it around. And that is the goal. So... Uh, that's it for this time, and I'll do an enemy and uh, lives and points next time.